Hey guys, my Rocks three two one here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another launch video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the like up on the video. Today we are flying something different. We're gonna be flying the Heli Rocks or the Rotor Rocks. These rockets like this are used in competitions a lot um, for um, helicopter duration. So they take off, then their rotor blades pop out, and then um, they time the descent. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna fly in these. This is the um, I think it's the Mini A Heli, I think it's called, by Estes. So it's a rotor rock. It's already ready to go. You have to tie the blades on with a thread. But I'll show you all that stuff, um, how it works in the debrief. So this one's all ready to go. So let's uh, get this one off the ground. It's my Rock 321. Hit that subscribe button. Check the links below. Check my website and all that good stuff. And we will be right back. All right, guys, here we go. We got the rotor rock on an A103T. Should get up there pretty good. And uh, first time launching one of these, so we'll do it in five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Got a pop, and we got blades. Rotor rock blades are working. Check it out, it, it's spinning. It's like I said, these are competition rockets usually for duration, and it is coming down pretty good. I can see the blades steady twirling. Riding the breeze that's up there. Nice. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It is going way away from me too. This could look like a far walk day for the Rotor Rock. Hopefully you guys are seeing it. It's like kind of, I always try to say stay dead center. But yeah, it's like slowly, look at that. Nice duration. Heading over towards the trees. Is it still in the field? Yeah, it's still in the field. Directly right there, touching down right there in the rocks. If you can see the blades on the ground here facing me. So that was a good, that was a good duration right there. That was a good, what, I don't know, 80 seconds. Good 80 seconds right there on that one. So nice. That was a nice one, so. This would be a one of the further walks. Never had to walk this far in this part um, from the launch pad to here. So, got out there pretty good. Pretty good ways away from it. I have another one that goes up on the C63. There's a small breeze today, so I think it rained up here. It's been pretty hot and hot here lately. But I think they got rain in this part of Phoenix. So, let's recover this guy. See what we got. That was nice. That was nice. And here we go. Nice. Everything's perfect. So like I said, in the, in the debriefing, I will show you how these things work. We'll discuss it. So that was pretty cool. Smart Rock 321. Get back to the pad. Get another one put up. So yeah, this one was a pretty successful flight. That was pretty nice. Um, I do see a little burn right there where I think you can put some mylar tape to keep the... Uh, blades from getting burned so i'll end up doing something like that in a little bit so my rock three two one let's get it going all right guys so we are back with another rotor rock this is a 18 millimeter rotor rock by qcr i'm not even sure if qcr is still around if they're even making these anymore but similar to the last one you know got the ejection ports up top got the blades folded down and uh, we should get a nice flight the last one gave me a nice flight and a long walk so i'm expecting the same it's not a big breeze out here today but we'll see should be pretty good it's my rock three two one Subscribe to it and we'll um, be back with more. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We got the QCR Rotor Rock and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Hear it whistling. There we go. And we got blades. And we got blades coming down. Over this way, Mark. Look where I'm walking, look where I'm pointing. All right, so. Heading out, heading down. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good, good one. Man, these rotor rocks, man, they can, they can do it. Yeah, keep my eye on this because you can easily lose. Right now it's dead center in front of me. Dead center, dead center. Hopefully it don't go in the street. Oh yeah, he's getting, he's getting way out there. Oh yeah, he's going over there. <laughs> I think I'm leaving the park. 
think I'm leaving the park, guys. Yeah, I may be going out, out there. I am leaving the park. Oh yeah, he's coming out way far away. Far away, far away. Wow, that was on the sea. He is going beyond. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might not be getting him. Oh yeah, he is far away. The rock is lost, guys. Oh yeah, he's gone. He's going. Hello. Yeah, he's gone beyond the park, guys. That QCR rotor rock flew great, but he is definitely gone out of range into the neighborhood and gone. Yep. If I chalk that one up, he is gone. All right, guys, next up, we got the last flight of the day and then the debriefing as of right now in the QCR. Hella Rock is lost. I'm gonna go over to where these houses are and see if I can find it. I underestimated that rotation and that drift. It took its time coming down. It just drifted, drifted, and drifted. But I know kind of where it went over that way. There's some houses, so I'm gonna um, go check those and see if I can get it back. My Rock 321. Let's launch the Strike Fighter on a B44. All right, here we go. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. On the B44, parachute, and there we go. All right, so there we go. We got a quick one, and it stuck the landing. Wow, that's a rare occurrence. Stuck the landing in the park like SpaceX. So there we have it, guys. Check that out. Stuck the landing on the last one. <laughs> Stay tuned for the debriefing. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. He stuck the landing, guys. Good, perfect way to end the day, low and slow. My Rock Street 2 1. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to the debrief. You witnessed three flights today. Sadly, we lost one today. It is gone as of right now. But one thing I will talk about well, the rocket that I lost was the QCR. It's a rotor rock. It's a C or 18 millimeter rotor rock. It's by QCR and it's number 90. It's a great, great rocket used for competitions and things like that. I probably should have, you know, in hindsight to 2020, I probably should have used the B44, but I went with the C63, underestimating how those rotor blades will keep it hanging up there for a while and it catches little thermals and it will just drift and drift and drift, giving you a good duration. But this was the rocket right here that is lost. I forgot to get pictures and everything. I just built it, just built it over the last week or so. It's they're fairly simple to build, but there is some intricate stuff here you got to do. And you got to build your uh, your rotors at a dihedral. So I got that all worked out and it flew and the rotors were working and it just drifted and drifted down that neighborhood over there. But I didn't show any of this, but I did. I made a note and I went and made copies of that note and I went in the neighborhood where those houses were and I dropped off. I put some in some mailbox and I talked to some of the people. People were checking their yards for me. Um, one guy, he was really nice. He's actually a school teacher and he wants to do something. So I gave him one. He said he's going to ask around about it. So hopefully it pops up. I left my number with him. And um, sadly, I did not leave my number on the rocket itself. I slipped up there. I always preach doing that, but I didn't do it myself this time. And I got bitten. I underestimated that uh, rotor rock or the, the, it's called the high rotor L or uh, high, high rotor one. I believe that's what that is. But Great flying rocket. I'll um, probably try to scratch build this. It was a pretty long tube. Those are a 15 inch blades, so you got to get the little hinges and stuff like that. But great flying rocket. Hopefully to get another one, or I will be building another one. So after losing that one, well, first that was my actually my second flight. The first flight of the day was the uh, the Estes version of this. It's the uh, Mini A Heli. It's, it's their version of it. Um, it flew nice, flew nice on the mini engines. I'll take that out right now. Yeah, it flew nice. Um, you just a little, you take these in. No, you keep them simple. You keep these light because these are mainly used for competition. But I want to bring them into sport more. Um, because there's some, there's some nice rockets to fly. So that's all burnt out. Yeah, I'm really, really great. And the way these work is, you have a hole. There's a hole right here. I don't know if you can, you can see that hole. You make a hole with a pin, a needle, and thread, pretty much. 
and you got the hole on both sides you, you feed the needle straight through and then you wrap it around you let it meet up and then you tie the blades down and once they're tied down then you go ahead and you arm the blades I'm gonna call it arming for lack of a better word with the rubber bands so imagine if they're down and you put this rubber band underneath each of these hooks here it'll be under tension it'll be you know kind of spring-loaded and ready to go so when the ejection charge fire and that thread that passes through it's going to burn that and it's going to release these blades and these blades are going to fly up very fast and it's going to pop out like a helicopter and then it'll catch it'll catch wind I watched it slowly catch wind and then it just twirls all the way down real nice really fast and it was just fun to watch this one spent a good amount of time up there I don't know what the time would have been. I should have, if I had a stopwatch, I could have gotten that. But flew really nice on this one, stayed in the field. I knew it was going to, the other one, the bigger version was going to go over that way. I just underestimated how much further out it went. It would probably, probably another, it could have been another 100 yards. Were that in that neighborhood? No, a little under 100. Maybe another, I'll say another 50 to 80 yards into those houses over in there, the same direction as this one. So. Like I said, hope, I'm hoping to find, get the other one back. Um, but if not, no big deal. I'll just scratch build um, this version right here, the QCR90. So it performed well. Next, I'll just fly it on smaller engines. I'll put it way up there on the C, underestimating that rotation. And um, it, it really performed well, but I lost them. So, and yeah, when it ejects, you do, you spill the gases out here. Once it burns that thread and these pop out, the ga it spills its uh, gases through those slots. So... Um, Great day overall, though. I'm not too disappointed. You like to bring them all home, but um, lost that guy. And here's the thread. Use this elastic thread with the needle. So that'll be your prep. The engine goes in. Get that set. Fold uh, your rotors down. Feed the thread through. Bring a piece. Tie it. Shorten it. Cut a piece of it. Then go ahead and load your, your, uh, load your rubber bands. So they go down like this. And it'll hook around the edge of there. I don't want to load. I'll load one while it's up. Actually, show you how it's. There you go. Actually, you've seen it. So it'll be out like that. So when you get them up, it'll. Yeah, this is a nice. This is a nice design. This one, like I said, this is a good performing rocket. Great for uh, competitions. This is the mini engine version. So like that, it'll be like that. So it'll just spin. You have your dihedral set. I have it. They want it 16, uh, 1 16th like angle height of that angle of the dihedral so it'll just spin and spin and spin it'll spin like that and i may paint the underside of this one black because this one is coming down i mean this rock it was hard to see they're kind of hard to see too it's not like a bright parachute up there i had to really keep my eye on this um they're easy to lose in the sky so um if you do any rotor rocks in the park just just like with the parachute rockets keep your keep your eye on it so i just kept my eye on this one that came down the field and um it's pretty simple not even yeah it's nice perfect pretty much no damage at all so great design great design rocket something I like uh proto rocks first time ever um first time building one first time building and flying one I've been around them I've um helped out in um and uh the, what is it for the competitions at FAI I helped them one time uh, do some timing and stuff like that I wasn't flying I was just doing some timing with Matt Steele he's getting ready for the FAI competition world competition so I never had my own, but it's my first one. It's the first one I built that I built the QCR version, which I just lost. And then the last flight of the day um, was on a B44. It was a strike fighter. You saw that. That was a really low flight. Just something simple, and it um, stuck the landing. Hey, I can see it here. It cracked the little fin. It stuck that landing, but I didn't realize that until just now. Luckily, I have the glue right here, so this fin got cracked. I don't know if this got happened. When did this? I don't know. Maybe it didn't land on it. It had to, huh? Just realized this fin was cracked. But I will glue this back on right now. Pretty much I have glue already, you know, right here, handy. So I'll get this glued up. Oh, I didn't even realize it. But it stuck the landing, as you saw. And I did fly that on a B44 motor. Yes, yeah, B44 in there. Really slow. Really slow, low. But yeah. Strike Fighter, very old rocket. This is a 1989 release. Very old, super cool rocket. A lot of people say, uh, kind of reminds them of the X-Wing fighter. To me, totally different bird, totally different. Maybe some influence, but yeah, definitely a different different bird here. But yeah, let me go ahead and get some glue, get some glue slapped in there. No, I got some, what am I gonna use? I guess I'll use some of this here. But anyway, guys, this is Model Rocks 321. Appreciate you stopping by. Hit the thumb up on the way out. 
and hopefully I have some good news in an upcoming video that someone contacted me because I've met at least let me see one two three this guy Robert now I know him now I know where he lives he's in that neighborhood he said actually the guy Robert that lives over there I should have got a, should have spoke to him more he said he's recovered rockets over there um in his yard <laughs> so he's like right across that street from that park um, I was down the far end too I thought which direction the little breeze was going in but man just you know it's rocketry though this is rocketry hate you know you hate to you hate to lose one but you know it's the way it is it's part of this hate to lose one that's rare that's the main thing like the rare ones that you, that's hard to get and that QCR 90 that's that's and it's there's hard to get they don't see them I don't even think they're making them anymore so and then, you know people run the prices up when something's out of production they kind of run the price up on them so that's always an issue but that's a scratch build. I can definitely, um, I can rebuild that just from parts I have. I have all the parts except for those hinges. Those hinges were unique. Um, it was a tiny little hinge, a little piece you can probably find at any craft store. I can see them. It seemed like they would be used in model making. I don't know if people who make like doll houses and seem like it would be used on like hinges and like small hinges. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna let this set up, get this glued in there. This guy's been flying for years, flying for years. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this um, get him set, and um, that'll do it, guys. It's Model Rocks three two one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you lasted this long, if you get value, I have a cash app, <laughs> I have a PayPal, I have a shop, a web store. Use that as a discount. Anything you choose. My Rocks 321 and I am out. Peace.